So this video is sponsored by Cyberpower UK. They build a lot of awesome PCs. If you do want to go check it out, I will leave the link down in the description. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video here today on my channel. Season 3 is finally here. I've been so excited for this, and as you can tell, I've already played some of the game. So what I'm actually going to be doing in today's video is talking you through almost everything that we did get in the brand new update, and also taking you through every single Battle Pass reward in season three and of course I will be explaining the challenge system because it has changed a little bit but we're gonna start off by showing you some of the new settings which has been added to the game so if we go over to here to settings we have a few changes first of all they've added a 60 frames per second uh, mode on all consoles and they're kind of like specific to each console so if you're playing on Xbox one you're gonna get a nice smooth uh, 60 frames per second of course if that was on PlayStation 4 or Xbox one X you're going to be able to kind of be a little bit more powerful so it is kind of specialized to each console but it definitely runs a lot smoother it feels a lot smoother and i think it's really really cool now they have made some other changes as well if we grow if we carry on going down here we have a turbo building this is a really good feature so if you're building stirs and you're going pretty high you can simply just hold the right trigger down and you can continually keep building it's really good especially if you want to spin around really quickly you don't need to keep pressing the trigger you can just hold the trigger down spin around and you can keep building there's also auto material change which is definitely a huge thing basically let's say you've got 100 wood you're building out of wood as soon as you run out of wood usually you would need to swap to a different material well with auto material change it'll instantly change to brick and then once you run out of brick it'll instantly change to metal it's a really good thing you can constantly keep building and it's going to make sure that you can build and you're not kind of in that situation where you run out of materials and you can't place anything and that's really 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 cool and the final thing which has been added is building through objects like they've added this is just a neutral thing so you can build through vehicles you can build through trees it doesn't destroy them like it does with rocks and things like that but they don't actually obstruct your building so it's really cool it definitely makes uh, building around trees and objects and leaves and everything like that a lot smoother a lot easier but just remember you can't go through the the objects just like your buildings do you're still gonna have to smash them out of the way but you can build around them or through them if you need to. So that's a really, really good feature as well. Now, before we do get into the battle pass rewards, we're going to take a look at the new challenge reward system. So if we go over here to challenges, uh, once you first actually level up your battle pass to tier two, you're going to unlock yourself some free pass challenges. Now, if you open this up, as you can see, you have multiple different challenges. And at the top, it says complete any four of the challenges to earn the reward. So as you can see, I've done three of them so far. Once you get the fourth one completed, you're going to get 4,000 XP. But as you can see, they each have different stars that are rewarded. So if I play another uh, 39 matches, I'm going to get 10 battle stars. So that's going to level up my battle pass instantly. Also the same with reaching season at level 25. But as you can see here, they have different rewards. And you want to complete these continuously. And you can take your, your own pace at completing these and do them at your own pace, which I think is really, really good. And uh, the same thing goes with the Battle Pass challenges. So if we go over here, as you can see, if you purchase the Battle Pass, you get new bunch of challenges every single day. And it says, like, this week 9 will unlock in 56 days and things like that. And it says how many stars you can actually complete if you do every single challenge. But if we look at the Battle Pass ones, these ones are a little bit more difficult and a little bit more unique. For example, we need to search chests at Pleasant Park. You need to revive players, visit a llama, a fox, and a crow. Now, the llama is near uh, Junk Junction, the fox is near, I believe, uh, Wailing Woods, and the crab is near uh, Moisty Mire. So, if you want to go to those locations, make sure you do, and you can easily get yourself a challenge at completed. And there's also other challenges as well, sniper rifle eliminations. There was one of them, which was eliminate uh, opponents in Faithful Fields. That one's apparently hard. I don't find that one to be too difficult. But um, yeah, there's definitely different challenges and it mixes up how you play the game. One of them wants you to go to Pleasant Park. One of them wants you to go to Fatal Fields and uh, things like that. So it's a really good thing, but you do still get your daily challenges. I believe uh, just your normal challenges. You don't get daily battle pass challenges anymore. You simply just get those weekly challenges of the battle pass, but you don't get any daily ones anymore but you can still get your normal daily challenges if you don't purchase the battle pass and you can still uh, complete those to actually earn xp as well but let's go take a look at the new rewards for the battle pass 
Um, actually, before we do that, this is the new umbrella that you get for winning a game. I have won one game. And you can see this is definitely related to the Chinese New Year. It's a really cool umbrella. You get this once you do win a game in Season 3. It's really cool. I like it. And we're going to be getting a Chinese Dragon um, uh, kind of like glider as well. Which is going to be coming at some point in the future. And I'm actually going to be... Uh, these are going to be swapping very soon as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. But let's go over here to the Battle Pass and take a look at what we get. So once you first purchase the Battle Pass, you're going to unlock this skin. Which is called Mission Specialist. Which is pretty cool. You also unlock your XP multiplier boost, personal XP boost, your challenges, and, and things like that. Now, next, you get yourself five free tiers. Um, I don't know why. Oh, that's next season. Oh, okay. So, that's going to be uh, for season four. So, you're already going to get five extra tiers for season four as well, which is pretty interesting. You get another personal XP boost. You get a banner icon of an egg. Uh, not really too interested in the banner icon. You get some V-Bucks. You get a WOW emoticon. Don't really use those too much. Our first loading screen is a suppressed pistol. It's definitely nice to sw switch up the loading screens. Then we get our first pickaxe here, which uh, looks pretty cool. Look at this one. I don't even know what it is. It's kind of like a... It's an axe on one side and like a, a blade kind of thing on the other one. Sawtooth, it's called. And it's a pretty cool. Then we move over to our next emoticon, which is a llama, which is a thief. So if someone steals your loot, you can throw that thief down. We get a bumblebee banner icon, a salute emote, which is a free tier. Uh, then we get ourselves another 100 V-Bucks. We get another uh, loading screen, which is harvesting tools. This is the one I'm currently using right now. We get a worm banner icon. Then we get two emoticons at level tier 14. We get heartbroken. And we also get In Love. So the In Love is the free one and the Heartbroken is the Battle Pass one. And then the next Battle Pass reward I'm going to get is the Rainbow Glider. Which is definitely going to go with the uh, the sparkly kind of character. The female one. I forgot what she's called. But uh, this is definitely going to go with that one. It looks pretty cool. It's called Rainbow Rider. Then we get a banner icon of a paw. We get a Boombox emoticon which I don't use too much. And 100 V-Bucks at tier 18 if you don't want to... By the, uh, the battle pass, which is absolutely fine. And at level 20, or tier 20, should I say, we get our first skydiving trail. This one's rainbows. This one looks pretty cool. I do like the flame one, though. That's going to be pretty cool as well. But there we go. You kind of get a, a little sneak preview of what it's going to look like. Um, then we get a banner icon of the sun. We get rocket rider emoticon. And we also get our first back bling. Now, this one is called precision. This one looks pretty cool. It's got like a little radio communicator and things like that. And uh, these are a new kind of customization that we have called Bat Blings. Uh, if we actually go take a look at Bat Blings, as you can see, the Knights get them from Season 1. As you can see, we have all three of them. The Angel has them as well. So does the Raptor skin, I think. And the Ski ones have them as well. Now, you can actually put these on any of your characters. So, for example, if I want... This character already has my, um, my Black Knight shield. But I can swap that to the Angel if I want to. So, we can have the Angels. You can have the Skis. Or you can simply take them off as well. If I want to be the Angel... Uh, like this, I can choose to uh, to have uh, have him with that. I can choose to have him with nothing. So this is what the angel looks like with nothing, which looks pretty cool. But I actually kind of like him with the angel wings, to be honest. Although it kind of gives your position away a little bit, it looks good with the angel wings. It does look good. But I'm going to be rocking this new uh, this new this new skin here. This one looks pretty cool. I do like it. It's the new one. Let's uh, let's go back to the black shield. There we go. It lets you know that I got to max rank uh, max tier in last season's battle pass. <laughs> I know, gotta brag. Got to, to brag. What do we get up to? Now we got this skin as well, Rust Lord, a second skin that you can unlock. And this guy's okay. Uh, not my favorite one, but he definitely looks pretty cool. Uh, King of the Scrap Heap, part of the Storm Scavenger set. So there we go. Uh, next skin that we get, I think you get six skins in total in this one, and that is the second skin uh, that you can unlock. You get a GG emoticon at tier 26, some more V Bucks at 27, a tactical shotgun loading screen at 28. A Battle Royale loading screen at 30. Don't we already have this one? So I don't know why you would want that one. Because we kind of already have that one. Then a Bush Emoticon at level 30 as well. And then this is probably one of the coolest emotes I've seen so far. Especially if you win a game at the end. You can kind of like uh, move around. And you can dance and stuff like that once you win a game. Take the L. He's got the L on top of his head. And he's just doing a crazy little dance. It says take the L which means loss. Save the W which is the win. That's pretty cool. I love that. That's a really, really cool emote. I love it. It's pretty cool. At tier 36, we get ourselves our next 
uh, skydiving trail. This one's called Ultramarine, and this one looks really cool. I like this one. This one's nice. I like it. Then we get Aura Mode Scan at 38, and a banner icon of that as well. And at 39, we get ourselves another glider. This one's called Carbon, and this once again looks pretty cool. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. Uh, we get a little Krabby, though. At a, a tier 40, we get a positivity at 42, some more V-Bucks at 43, a bright unicorn loading screen at 44. At 46, we get our first pickaxe for the free tier. This one's called Eva, and it looks like a kind of like rocket screw or something, connected to like a ratchet or some kind of mechanical tool or something like that. That one's pretty cool. Not my. I, I prefer this pickaxe uh, over here. I do prefer this one. But uh, nonetheless, this is still a pretty cool pickaxe. It looks pretty cool. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And then at 47, we get our second back bling. This one's called Astro. Once again, these can be equipped on any character that we want to. Uh, oh, yeah. You got a thumbs up emoticon at 46. And we get a thumbs down emoticon at 48. Now, I wish the emoticons could be in a separate tier to the emotes. Because I don't really use emoticons. I find myself wanting to use emotes more than anything. So, I don't really have any of these attached at all. But nonetheless... I don't know. I think they should have their own little slot or something like that. At tier 50, halfway to the top, we have All Star, which is some nice sparkly stars which you can use to uh, to glide down from the battle buzz. You get a 1 HP emote, uh, emoticon if anyone wants to let you know that you're on low health. You get a banner icon, you get an A plus emoticon as well. And at 55, we get our third skin. This one's called Moonwalker. This is the one that we kind of got teased to us initially. Uh, I think of the spacesuit coming down. This is the female spacesuit. This one is a pretty cool one, but there's an even better one in this pack, and we're going to get to that uh, very shortly. A hot dog emoticon at 58, some more V-Bucks at 59. At 63, we have best mates. Once again, another cool emote. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally, if your whole team's doing this at the end, that'd be pretty funny. I like the music as well. It's pretty cool music. Really nice. 67 gives us some more V-Bucks. And Bubbles at 68. So the next uh, the next one's probably my favorite one, though. Look at this guy. Look at this guy at 70. Dark Voyager. This is a legendary one. Look at this. This is pretty insane. I love this one. This is my favorite skin probably in the in the set. In the Battle Pass, it's definitely a cool one. Like, this is in Black Knight. Black Knight territory right here. And then we also have Dark Matter, which will go with that skin as well at 71. 200 IQ at 74. Some of you books at 75. We get a trusty number two pickaxe at 79, which has actually got a pencil in it as well. So you're going to be jabbing people with your pencil. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> um, and more V-Bucks at 83. 84, we get my favorite kind of like um, skydiving trail, Flames. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. I love that. Absolutely love that. And at 87, we get our next skin. I think this is our fifth skin, is this? I'm pretty sure this is our fifth skin. At 87, we get Elite Agents. It's another female. She's got a little kind of laser webcam something on her head. And she's definitely uh, some secret agent or something. Definitely. Uh, it looks pretty cool. She's black. Uh, so, oh, well, she's cosmetics are black. So she's probably going to blend in uh, in dark locations a little better. But I think they have changed something with those. So you can see them a bit better. We get our next loading screen at uh, 92, which is Elite Agent. So that's 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 literally her. But she's kind of took her glasses off, so you can kind of see her a little better. Um, Elite Agent. Then we get the robot at 95. This is a cool emote as well. I love this one. This is a good one. I can't wait to get to this. It's going to take a while to get all the way up to, to these high tiers. But nonetheless, we have 67 days remaining. We can do a plenty. Oh, yeah. I love that emote. Look at it. It's so cool. Look at it. <laughs> the music brilliant as well. And the final tiers that we have is we get another 100 V-Bucks. And then we get the Reaper at 100, which I'm actually not a huge fan of this skin, to be honest. Not really a huge fan of them. Uh, he kind of, I think, he's going for the James Bond effect. But I don't really like him. For a, for a level 100, I don't think he should be the level 100. I think the level 100 should be this guy. Like, this guy is the coolest in the Battle Pass, in my opinion. Let me know yours down in the comments. But one thing which is interesting is once you do get to tier 100, you unlock the Battle Pass tier 100 challenges. And it says complete these challenges to earn a sweet reward. So you're going to get some kind of new reward once you do complete these tier 100 challenges. So I definitely want to get to tier 100, get these challenges and uh, have some fun but those are all of the season 3 battle pass rewards if you want to pick it up you can purchase it for 950 v bucks but hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you did make sure you do give it a like down below thank you very much for watching my name is zero and i'll catch you guys next time